Hi Leo, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your December general reading. Again, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you're all doing super well. Um, Leo, as we always do, right after this, I do your love reading as the extended. If you wanna join, it's the first link in the description box below. If you're new, hello and welcome. Real quick, what we do in the love readings is I use the Crystal Vision deck over there. And and we really check in on the other person you're dealing with right now in love and romance. We're looking to see how they're really feeling about you right now, Leo. What are their true, authentic, um, long-term intentions for you? We also look at what y'all are going through together, your mutual energy. And then we also take a look, of course, at potential outcome for your relationship or your love connection. So again, that one's in the link below um, in the description box. Also, my Instagram is in the description box if y'all want to come follow or come say hello. All right, Leo, this is going to be, um, this part is just for you. This is your general reading. Um, right now I'm using the Cosmic Tarot for your reading today. Very beautiful. All right, and this is the general part, so we could really be talking about anything here. I just go with the flow and see what comes out. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for December 2019. Three more shuffles for Leo. All right. What's the most important message, Spirit, that Leo needs to know at this time? What is the most important message that Leo needs to hear, see, or know at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. what's going on Leo all right bottom of the deck as a part of your theme y'all have the two of Pentacles okay so earth energy some of you could be dealing with an earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, okay cool and then the six of wands is behind that so um, which talks about victory and success so right now um, throughout the month of December and for this whole reading Leo you're kind of trying to make a lot of things work you're working on um, prioritizing many projects many many I'm hearing heavy things in your life it doesn't have to be bad um, but but say like work life, family life, um, you know, cr your creative life, all of those things, your love life. Um, it could be two big things um, that you're dealing with. It could also just be um, two, two of Pentacles is kind of a juggling energy, kind of dealing with multiple things on your plate. Just that heavy, like I have so much going on. I have so many plans, so many to do's, so many things to do. So kind of just finding that balance. Um, okay, but don't forget about taking care of yourself okay um, but whatever decision you make however you're approaching all of these different things on your plate on your I'm hearing platter you will find victory and success we have the six of wands under that um, Wow and then the two of cups so this could definitely be um, juggling a new person a relationship um, a new friend someone coming in your life that's been very important and significant and you're trying to figure out how to make all of that work with this new person or new um, romantic or not um, how do I make that person Person for some of you work with okay my work life how do I balance it all okay balance is coming through beautiful all right let's get your current energy beautiful six of cups gorgeous Leo um, a lot of you are dealing with a lot of soulmate energy okay absolutely gorgeous this is past life energy okay so maybe you're dealing with someone right now from a past life or from from someone that you've known earlier in your life and childhood growing up something like that this is also very nostalgic energy. Um, it is the holiday season, so a lot of us are reuniting and reconnecting with people being in town, or maybe you're traveling to your hometown or somewhere to reconnect with mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, cousins, siblings, old friends, whatever that means to you. So it's very beautiful energy, very beautiful energy. All right, tell me more about the Six of Cups for Leo. All right, Leo, we got the Tower and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so the Tower is coming in to say that there is some kind of change going on. Um, the Tower is here to prop propel you in some type of new direction, that there's something, maybe your foundation, a home, um, your home life, your family life, your work life for some of you. Um, it's It could be... 
I feel like I'm hearing the word messy. I feel like something's very messy, very hectic, and you're unsure about something. It's kind of an uncertainty, and that's paired with the, se the Seven of Wands, um, which is heavy fire energy, very defensive. Um, you're definitely protecting and defending something, um, and you're also very exhausted. I was gonna say that at the begin beginning of this reading, and I'm hearing it and feeling it again, that y'all just kind of feel drained and tired right now um, because of so much going on. So I think because, remember that Two of Pentacles, you just have boom, 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 like so many things, so many plans, so many, I'm hearing to-dos again. You have so many to-dos on your plate that spirit might be throwing you a tower moment. I want to clarify and see a little deeper uh, for most of you what this tower is about. It could be anything, okay? It could be anything coming in. Spirit, please clarify the tower for Leo in December. Wow, Empress. So it is going to actually rock your world and rock your boat. Um, I love that you have the Empress energy. This is so, uh, such a beautiful um, card. The, the Empress is the number three in the major arcana. Maybe some of you are seeing a lot of threes right now, and that might be your sign. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles too. I do feel like there is um, a pairing happening here, a pairing. Um, I keep hearing that, a pairing, a pairing, a pairing. All right, let's keep going with this message. Oh, wow. Then we have the beautiful Nine of Cups. So this is actually, okay, this tower that's coming in, Leo, is actually something that you've been wishing and wanting for. And again, a tower is where the universe is coming in. I'm hearing last resort as a last resort to um, either grant you a wish or put you, um, put you in a position. And sometimes it's harsh, like losing a job, losing a friend, um, maybe getting out of a relationship or into a relationship. It can, you know, these are general, so please um, take it how it resonates. But whatever your tower moment is it actually has been something that you've been wishing and wanting for and I am noticing here um, these cards are looking the people in these cards are looking very similar to me um, I'm actually picking up on for a lot of you possibly a twin flame or just a very overall strong soulmate connection that someone's entering in your life um, and I feel almost Leo like you're here in the seven of wands um, kind of like defending yourself, maybe just very on the fence, on guard about this connection, maybe al almost a little bit of like a negative self-talk, like, oh, when we say like, oh, I just, I'll never find the one or I'll never find the dream job. And we say those negative, hurtful things to ourself. Um, it's actually very damaging and not helpful when we're trying to manifest because the magician was also coming up in your pre-shuffle which i'm being reminded of that right now that y'all are trying to manifest you're trying to wish you're trying to bring something beautiful into your life nine of cups it's wish fulfillment um it's that you know your wish is trying to be granted so that you can um come into this beautiful connection six of cups also what came out with the nine of cups is the hierophant okay so this is like a higher realm of spiritual connection either with yourself or with another person and the hierophant is falling under the six of cups so and i will say for the most of you i do feel it's about a connection with someone else a soulmate romantic um a close friend something like that okay and you've been maybe a little bit on the fence about it i'm on the fence i'm defensive kind of standing your ground um a lot of i'm hearing boundary work is coming in um but instead of manifesting it's almost like okay let me break this down a little bit when we're in this energy leo of seven of wands um fighting every little thing, fighting every little battle, and not really understanding the bigger picture, the war, <laughs> if you will, okay? Um, when we really have to, I I'm hearing also choose your battles, choose your battles. You don't have to confront every single thing, whatever that means to you. But when we're in the Seven of Wands energy, it is very difficult um, and almost, I don't wanna say impossible, but it sometimes can feel that way, um, nearly impossible to get whatever we want, to get that dream relationship, to get that dream job, to get that dream home, whatever, whatever it is that you're really wishing and wanting for, it's hard to do it in that energy, okay? Because it really doesn't let that flow, that energetic flow come in to, so that you can be in, re in the receiving mode to receive your gifts, okay? And the energy spirit wants you to be in is in the Empress energy, whether male or female. The Empress is the collection, if you will, of all the four queens, 
Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. It's all the four elements, kind of that magician vibe again, where we're using all of our best elements and resources in a very balanced, I, mean, I felt like going like this, I look like I'm just blessing myself, but I'm hearing like Northeast, Southwest, like even like all the elements, all of the directions, everything that you're, you're in harmony. And, and again, Spirit's not asking for you to be perfect here, but there is something I'm hearing lay off. There's something that you need to lay off on. And I feel it's that, that attitude of being defensive about something that you just need to like almost let go a little bit. Okay. And really tap into your Empress energy whether you're male or female, kind of like harnessing in your divine feminine energy, right? Because they are trying to bring you this beautiful connection. And again, it doesn't have to be love or romance for, for you if that's not um, what you're wishing and hoping for. But whatever it is, it's big, it's spiritual, it's from the higher realms, it's from your higher self, spirit, God, guides, angels, whatever you connect with there spiritually. Um, and see, I almost feel like the Hierophant here, this is, I don't know if I mentioned this, card of Taurus, so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, um, but I almost see, it's like your angels and guides, God's source, whatever that means to you, is here as the Hierophant or your higher self, and they are, they have a light shining on you. Oh my God, I've never even noticed this. In his other hand, there's a card with a pinnacle. So it is something that is being brought down into your 3D world, okay? So this is very, very, very beautiful. All right, Spirit, let's keep going. What's the most important message here for Leo? Yeah, Eight of Wands, y'all are receiving a lot of higher communication. This card did flip in the reverse, but I'm not taking reversals with this deck right now. Um, and I feel like... Yeah, and the sun card is right there. It's like once this tower comes down, I think you're going to hear a lot more. Eight of Wands is about higher realms of communication from spirit, from your angels, your guides, but it's also quick communication possibly with other people. It's very fast. It's a lightning bolt. It's a very exciting type of energy here, okay? Um, so what is this communication about? Let's break it down. Spirit, what is this Eight of Wands about for Leo? What is this communication? Thank you. Oh. oh, wow, Leo. The first one that came out is the Justice card. Like I said, balance, balance, balance. So that's coming in. Card of Libra. They're all about the scales, all about the balance. And then it's also paired with the beautiful Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. Again, for a lot of you, I feel if it's like a twin flame or some type of major soulmate union or even reunion here with the Six of Cups, because this, this is someone you've dealt with before, either in this lifetime or the last or a past one. It doesn't have, necessarily have to be the last one. Um, but anyways, whatever is happening here, you are coming into alignment, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. This is when, again, the 10 here, you've, you've cr I'm hearing crossed the line you've completed something in your life some type of lesson car and then there's a lot of karmic energy here and um, whatever lessons that have been i'm hearing on repeat for you it's like ah oh, i keep experiencing this thing and then i i think i learn it and then oh, and then it happens to me again um but you're receiving from the higher realms like eight of wands with the hierophant is like lots of epiphanies from your higher self angels guides and messages for your for your best and highest good. And what that really is doing is bringing you into balance. And I love that this is under the seven of wands. Like I was saying, instead of being in that defensive, I have to just stand my ground. And it's just very like you're upset, you're tired, and you just, you're, you're I'm hearing you're, you're fighting. It's like you're, I feel like you're fighting now for almost just no reason, like for some of you. And I mean that as in like, you just don't even, you just feel defensive almost towards anyone or anything for some of you. And instead of that energy, they're asking you to step into the Empress energy and also the Justice energy. These are very beautiful energies of balance, of creation with the Empress energy. Um, also with the Empress here, it could be something you've been waiting on, like a gift, a gift of creation, a new creative project that you've been wishing and hoping for. Um, also, want, I'm hearing spiritual gifts. A lot of you are getting, um, I'm hearing enhanced with your natural spiritual abilities. That is beautiful and amazing, okay? Especially with the Nine of Cups, they're saying, hey, I want to be closer to you, spirit. I want to I receive more messages. And 
I'm hearing, oh boy, if you just ask, they'll be there, okay? All you have to do is ask, okay? Um, but this is beautiful, and again, I love the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like, now is the time for you to receive. They're saying you are coming into a, com I'm hearing, complete stance, um, and the light is being shined right upon you. This is very beautiful. What's the final message here for Leo? Spirit, what's the final message here for Leo? Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Y'all are literally giving me chills. Now we have the last card out for this reading is the Emperor. Okay, card of Aries, if that resonates with some of you. And look what we have in this reading. I've been talking about Empress, Divine Feminine Energy, all of the queens in one. And guess who showed up at the end? The Divine Masculine, right? And it's about time. This is like, I'm hearing clockwork. This has been um, within the right timing. Spirit has asked you to work on things, do this, you know, get in alignment really if it's been emotional work if it's been physical work if it's your spiritual work your relationships heart work whatever that means to you that you've you're coming to a place of completion and if you are doing the work that you will come into this beautiful divine union okay this is very again with the hierophant higher level they want to go like this yeah it's like spirit is like look what we have for you if you can just Put your wand down and go and more of that go with the flow energy. Find some more balance in your life, whatever that means. We're going to spiritually connect you to your counterpart. I'm hearing divine counterpart. Okay, so again, strong, strong, strong twin flame vibes. Big time here. Big time. Okay, and whether you're male or female or in a connection or coming into a connection where it's two males, two females... Um, don't get too hung, you know, that doesn't matter. Don't get too hung up on that. This is about one of the two of you being more of the divine feminine and the other one being more of the divine masculine. Okay. And that, that is, I love this deck because the nine of cups is usually someone by themselves being content and happy in their own space. But Leo, for you in this nine of cups, which again is wish fulfillment, spirit, please bring me my gifts. <sighs> They're right here. They're bringing them right here to you. So this is beautiful. I mean, I'm I'm getting chills. Like a lot of you are coming into a major, major union right now. Um, and also could be if you're already with like your romantic partner and already married, something like that, <clears throat> or in a committed relationship, whatever that means to you, this could just be something else big and aligning with your I'm hearing soul's purpose. Okay, this is all, a lot of this has to do with your soul's purpose of why you're actually here. So a job, a creative, again with the empress, a creative something, something that you wanna birth. It could be a child coming in for some of you. Um, but whatever it is, three of wands at the bottom of the deck, you are waiting, you've done your work. One, two, three. I've done my part is what you're saying to spirit. Leo, you're like, I've, I've done the work. Some of you are still in the work and that's fine, whatever stage you're in. Um, but as you get through the work, you're like, okay, I'm at peace now with where I'm at and I'm ready for my ships to come in. I'm ready for my gifts, for my union, for balance, for that wheel to spin. It's like, go ahead, spirit, spin that wheel, match me, right? And then right under that is the full card and then the page of cups, so yeah. And then the sun card, which is also a lot of your energy here, all right after this. Okay, so waiting for your ships to come in. It's going to propel you and put you in the fool's energy of a brand new start of life. Like I literally heard like vroom vroom, like a, like a new car, like a new engine, just like I am ready to go. It's like a whole other street, a whole other path, a whole other universe is being aligned and opened up for you. This is absolutely beautiful. Page of Cups, you're feeling young, you're feeling good, you're feeling fresh. And it's bringing you into like your ultimate true happiness, the happiest card in the deck sun card it's like really transforming you right now so i love this reading for you leo i hope that you enjoyed it um if you want to join for the love reading it's the first link in the description box below if this is where we part thank you so much always for your likes shares subscribes donations sweet comments all all of the beautiful things i'm so grateful for you sending you lots of love i'll see y'all soon